हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी फोर्टी सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ फिजिकल फार्मास्यूटिक्स वन बी पी थ्री जीरो टू टी आई एम डॉक्टर सुषमा वर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिक्स फार्मेसी इंस्टीट्यूट एन आई टी ग्रेटर नोएडा राइट इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट दी सोरेंसन पी एच स्केल एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बफर्स इन आर दिस लेक्चर विल बी डिस्कसिंग द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ पी एच राइट सो हाउ टू डिटर्मिन पी एच विल बी यूजिंग टू मैथड्स टू डिटर्मिन पी एच वन इज इलेक्ट्रोमीट्रिक मैथड्स एंड अनदर वन इज कलरीमीट्रिक मैथड राइट are uh, in this lecture we'll be discussing electrometric method of determination of ph and the calorimetric method of determination of ph will be uh, discussed in part 2 of the same lecture that is in part 1 we'll be discussing electrometric method and in part 2 of the ph determination method that is my next lecture we'll be discussing calorimetric method of determination of ph right the uh, ph determination is very important right for the maintenance of different dosage form so that they can be physically chemically and microbiologically stable to show their pharmacological action right and for this determination of ph uh, i like to have you a brief idea of the electrochemical cell right that you must have studied in your plus 1 plus 2 classes right i just want to have a brief idea of the electrochemical cell in the electrochemical cell we have two beakers right one in this we have uh, a solution of znso4 and an electrode of zinc and this is designated as anode because an oxidation is taking place here right and second we have a beaker containing a solution of copper sulfate and in this we have a uh, electrode of copper that is made of copper and this is termed the cathode because the reduction is taking place here and the both the electrodes are joined to each other by a voltmeter right and the cell is completed with the help of a salt bridge which acts as a bridge between the two beakers right and kcl is uh, filled in this tube that is the salt bridge and it completes the collection connection for the whole cell right and the cell reaction can be written as zn solid oblique zn so4 aqueous then copper sulfate aqueous and copper right so uh, how will the reaction take place here we have copper copper sulfate so and we have zinc and zinc sulfate here so what will happen that zinc at this electrode these electrons this uh, at this place electrons will be released by zinc because it is and uh, the electrons will move through this wire and come through this place to this electrode and here you will see you will find two cu plus 2 and they will react with the electrons to make copper ions right so from here we have zinc sulfate right it will be dissociated we have zn ions plus so4 minus ions and these electrons will be taken up by this wire and they will move from this wire to this electrode and here the electrons will be taken up by copper ions to deposit copper on this electrode right so this is the basics of the electrochemical cell that you have studied right the electrometric uh, determination of ph depends on the principle of this electrochemical cell right we can use such electrodes for the determination of ph which are altered who or whose potential is altered by the hydrogen ion concentration right and in this electrochemical cell one is the indicator electrode and one is the reference electrode right so reference electrode acts at the reference 
and the indicator electrode will uh, tell you the reading of the test solution. Right. So, the electrometric determination of pH the principle lies here is that the indicator electrode the indicator electrode whose potential whose potential changes with the concentration of hydrogen ion activity right so if there is a change in the hydrogen ion concentration so the potential of the electro will automatically change if we have such type of an electrode with us so it is suitable for the determination of ph of the solution right and for that it is known as the indicator electrode because it will be indicating the pH of the solution right and for that we have two examples one is the hydrogen electrode and another one is the glass electrode right. These two indicator electrodes can be used for the determination of the pH right uh, because hydrogen electrode in that case also it depends on the hydrogen ion activity and the glass electrode also depends on the activity of hydrogen ion right. So, these two indicator electrodes are used for the determination of pH and second we require as the reference electrode that is the standard electrode right and for that we have calomel electrode it can be used as reference electrode and we have silver chloride electrode right these two are the reference electrodes that can be used and uh, indicator electrodes which can be used for the determination of pH are hydrogen electrode and glass electrode because their potential depends on the hydrogen ion concentration right and the national bureau of, of standards determines the pH of its standard buffers right the uh, national bureau of Re, uh, standards recommends a hydrogen indicating electrode and a silver silver chloride reference electrode right it uh, recommends hydrogen indicating electrode it can be any one out of the two but generally this glass electrode is used right this glass electrode is generally used for the determination of pH because it is quite sensitive as compared to the hydrogen electrode right. So, the national bureau of uh, standards recommends uh, the det uh, determination of its pH of its standard buffers in a cell composed of a hydrogen indicating electrode and a silver silver chloride reference electrode right. So, silver silver chloride acts as the reference electrode as recommended by the national bureau of standards and you can use either of the two electrodes as the hydrogen indicating electrodes right. So, next is the uh, hydrogen electrode right. So, this is the uh, diagram showing the standard hydrogen electrode in this we have uh, here a platinized platinum electrode right we have a platinized platinum electrode here right we have a piece of metal that is being platinized right and it is attached to a platinum wire which is further joined right. So, we have a platinum a platinized platinum wire right and that is housed in a chamber right which is uh, like a rectangular shaped below and it is like a test tube above and there is an opening and from this we can add hydrogen at one atmospheric pressure right. From this opening hydrogen gas can be added into the housing right at one atmospheric pressure right. So, this is uh, the uh, hydrogen electrode and here we have one molar solution that can give hydrogen ions right. So, the potential of hydrogen electrode depends on the hydrogen ion concentration. So, it is suitable for the determination of pH right and so uh, how does the reaction takes place at the hydrogen electrode at left oxidation takes place and H 2 plus 2 H 2 O will give 
2 H 3 O plus this is the activity of hydrogen ion plus 2 electrons right. So, this is the activity of hydronium ion. So, this will be giving you the pH this will be giving you the pH and at right reduction will take place right that will be of the right we here we take it as the reference electrode. By right here I mean that we are taking a reference electrode by left we are taking the indicator electrode right. So, the indicator electrode here is the hydrogen electrode right. So, hydrogen uh, gas is aired into the housing and it will act with hydrogen two hydro, uh, molecules of water to give two hydronium ions right and plus two electrons. So, these hydronium ions will be contributing towards the determination of pH and at the reference electrode which we have taken up as the mercury chloride right. So, in this uh, at this the reaction take place like this H D 2 C L 2 plus this will take 2 electrons that were being given by this electrode and it will make 2 C L minus plus 2 H G right. The overall reaction the overall cell reaction of the uh, comprising of the 2 electrodes one is the indicator electrode that is the hydrogen electrode in this case and another one is the reference electrode that is the mercury chloride electrode. Right. So, the overall reaction can be written as H 2 plus H D 2 C L 2 plus 2 H 2 O will give 2 hydronium ion plus 2 H G plus 2 C L minus right. So, the uh, cell is represented as this was the cell reaction and this is the representation of the cell right. So, it is platinum H 2 1 atmosphere right. So, the platinum uh, the piece of platinized uh, metal right uh, here H 2 gas is pumped at what atmospheric pressure and here we have what we got the hydronium ion which will be the our uh, determination of the pH from here the determination this is the x which we want to calculate actually right and this is the KCL this is the salt pH gives H G 2 C L 2 H G. Right. So, these are the reaction that takes place at the hydrogen electrode right. The EMF of the cell is right the EMF of the whole cell is given by E cell is equal to E H 2 gives 2 H 3 O plus plus E H G 2 C L 2 gives 2 H G right. The EMF of the cell can be given by this equation the potential of the hydrogen electrode at 25 degree centigrade and a partial pressure of the hydrogen gas of one atmosphere is written as E H 2 is equal to E naught H 2 gives H 3 O plus minus 0 0.0592 log this is the concentration of hydronium ion upon what is one atmosphere. Under these conditions E naught is 0 right. So, the total cell equation the EMF of the cell was given by this equation and the potential of the hydrogen electrode at 25 degree centigrade is given by this equation right and under these condition at 25 degree centigrade the E naught is 0 and the equation reduces to E H 2 plus minus 0 0.0592 log activity of hydronium ion. So, this is what we are interested in. So, these are basically the cell equations that are uh, derived from the nurse equations that you must have uh, studied in your previous classes. So, I am not taking up them in detail. I have just taken uh, them briefly here uh, after describing the electrochemical cell. So, these are the equations that are uh, taken up when the indicator electrode is the hydrogen electrode right. These are the cell and so this is the hydrogen ion activity and since pH is equal to minus log of hydrogen ion concentration right. 
So, we are taking up uh, dilute solution. So, this is pH is equal to minus log of hydrogen ion concentration. So, your E H 2 is equal to minus 0 0.0592 pH. So, the potential of the saturated KCl calomel electrode in the reduction reaction is this one, right. So, we know the potential of the uh, reference electrode, right. So, it is given to be 0 0.242 volts at 25 degrees centigrade, right. So, we have got the potential of the reference electrode, hence we can put this value E cell is equal to 0 0.0592 pH plus 0 0.242, right. So, and the pH of the solution that is to be determined can be given by E cell minus 0 0.242 divided by 0 0.0592, right. So, in this way we can get the uh, pH of the test solution, right. What we can do is we can uh, put the test solution and get the potential from the indicator electrode. Because we are knowing the uh, uh, potential of the reference electrode, we can put the value and from there we can cal calculate the value of the uh, indicator electrode, which will be indicating the uh, pH of the test solution. Right. Next electrode which can be used as uh, indicator electrode is the glass electrode, right. So, the glass electrode consists of a glass membrane, right. It is a pH sensitive membrane, right. It is a glass bulb, it is a glass bulb, right, that is uh, composed of silica and which is incorporated with lithium ions right and this uh, glass tube is blown up in the shape of a bulb at the terminal right and uh, this is a AG AGCL electrode here and these are two one is this and second one is this and this is a liquid junction which makes a you can say a uh, contact between the two solutions and we have a thermocouple, we have outer solution and inner solution and it is temperature regulated, right. So, temperature regulation is there for pH determination because we have earlier discussed in our previous lecture that the temperature affects the uh, pH of a particular solution. So, uh, temperature maintenance is must. So, you, uh, so, in this glass electrode, this can be a single electrode itself which has a glass membrane that is pH sensitive and it has also get a, a reference electrode in it that is silver silver chloride electrode, right. So, we have a combination of two here, one is the indicator electrode glass electrode and second was is the reference electrode that can be silver silver chloride in this case, right. Next, we will see how the uh, e, uh, EMF of this total cell can be calculated. The typical of the membrane type electrode which is the most widely used pH il indicating electrode is the glass electrode. This is highly sensitive one. So, it is uh, frequently used hydrogen electrode can also be used as the indicating electrode, but generally in trend it is a trend that glass electrode is mostly used. So, it is a conventional electrode which includes an acidic electrolyte solution of 0.1 normal HCl. So, this 0.1 normal HCl which is a part of this acidic electrolyte will form the source for the hydrogen ions, right. The complete cell using a saturated calomel reference electrode cell can be represented as. So, this is the equation for the complete cell, right. In this one we have uh, the source of hydrogen ions, this is 0 0.1 normal HCl solution which is present in the glass electrode, this is the source of hydrogen ion. So, if this concentration changes or how this concentration modul uh, modulates will determine the pH of the test solution, right. So, the solution of the, uh, the equation for the cell is silver silver chloride 0 point normal HCl that is present in the glass electrode, glass membrane and unknown solution and KCL salt, this is the salt bridge K 
KCl saturated and HD2, Cl2, HD and this is the hydronium ion concentration. Right. So, this is the total cell equation which can be written by taking glass electrode as the indicator electrode and another one the reference electrode. Right. The total cell potential in this case can be calculated by this equation and it can be written as E cell is equal to E S C plus E A S Y M minus E A G C L A G plus 0 0.059 pH of unknown minus pH of hydrochloric solution, right. Where ESC arises at the boundary of Hg2, Cl2, Hg, right. So, ESC this is the standard calomel electrode, right. So, this potential is due to the reference electrode, right. So, this is the uh, saturated calomel electrode, this is the uh, standard electrode or the reference electrode and this potential ESC is due to the potential of this reference electrode. Next we come up to this ASYM, right. This comes from the two boundaries of the glass membrane and is equivalent to differences in resistance that arises owing to variations in manufacturing, right. And this uh, we have two glass membranes in the glass electrode and due to the uh, two boundaries of the glass membrane there is some resistance and due to that resistance uh, which are due to the manufacturing variations this term is generated which is known as E A S Y M right. Next we have the potential as E A G C L A G this arrived at the boundary of silver silver chloride electrode right though the pH of HCl solution term comes from the 0 0.1 normal HCl solution while the pH unknown is the pH of the solution being determined right. So, this uh, 0 0.1 normal HCl solution this terms comes from the 0 0.1 normal HCl that is present in the glass electrode right. So, it is the source of the hydrogen ion concentration which makes it a uh, indicator electrode and the pH is the uh, unknown is the pH of the test solution which you want to determine right. So, the pH is obtained from the uh, cell EM if the pH of the internal solution 0 0.1 normal is constant. Right. So, these manufacturing variations we can uh, just omit because these are due to the variations of the different manufacturers which are manufacturing the glass electrodes. If we keep a single uh, glass electrode, so for that particular glass electrode the uh, that uh, variations of the cell that are due to manufacturing can be minimized right that can be put to constant. So, this ca error can be eliminated right. So, uh, if we remove those variations right of the manufacturing and if we keep a single glass electrode. So, the variations are kept constant. So, the cell equation reduces to E cell is equal to E constant plus 0 0.0592 pH that is of the unknown solution or pH is equal to E cell minus E constant upon 0 0.0592 where E constant is sum of all the boundary potential arises from the 0 0.1 normal HCl solution right. So, E constant is term mein humne jitni bhi variations thi unko incorporate kar diya right. So, this uh, elaborated equation can be minimized to this equation by putting all the variation in this E constant right. So, this E constant is the sum of all the boundary potential arising from the 0 0.1 normal HCl solution right. So, we have put all these terms in this constant and the uh, equation is reduced right. So, next we have the equation as PHS is equal to E s minus E constant divided by 0 0.0592 in which PHS is the pH and E s is the EMF right. So, PHS is the pH and 
ES is the EMF of the NBS reference buffer solution. Subtracting this equation from the previous one in order to determine the undetermined E constant, right? We want to determine this E constant, we want to get its value. So, we have this expression as pH minus pHs is equal to E cell minus ES divided by 0 0.0592 or pH is equal to pHs plus E cell minus ES divided by 0 0.592 operation or practical definition of pH. So, this is the operational or practical definition of pH that you can use to calculate the pH using a glass electrode as the indicator electrode. Right. So, uh, what we can do is uh, to determine the pH of the solution, what we can do is we can have a pH meter here. right? So, it have uh, it has got all its aperture right there is a knob here there is a temperature setting here right this is a knob that is asymmetrical potential asymmetrical potential adjusting knob knob here we have stand bias and there is an on and off switch here right so this is a ph meter right you must have seen in your laboratories so this ph meter can be attached to a glass electrode it can be attached to a glass electrode or an indicator electrode and the total cell is completed right so if you want to determine the temperature of a particular solution what you can do right you can uh, immerse this glass electrode in that particular solution so we take a test solution right this is a beaker and we take a test solution in it right this is a beaker and we take a test solution in it and we put the glass electrode here and it is attached to the pH meter. If uh, this glass electrode is attached to the pH meter then the circuit is complete and the pH of the particular solution can be determined. So, how it has to be determined? So, first of all there are some standard buffers, standard buffers right. So, uh, of different pH are there. So, it can be of 4.9, 9 and 6.5. So, different range of pH buffer solutions are available to us. So, what we will do? First of all, we will uh, put the te uh, buffer solution, right? We will, uh, what we will do? We will take the pH of the standard buffer solutions, right? So, we will first take a buffer of uh, pH 4.9 and first uh, what will we do? We will adjust this knob for temperature compensation, right? So, temperature is uh, one of the important factor that is affecting the pH of the solution. So, temperature knob is regulated, then uh, the pH of this buffer, uh, this asymmetrical potential uh, error is uh, given a 0 error right. So, this error is minimized, this is a knob is set and the uh, pH of the buffer solution is determined right. It is done three times and we have to determine the uh, buffer pH of different standard buffers, three buffers are to be determined and then the pH of the uh, test solution can be determined right you can put the solution here. So, it will change the hydrogen ion concentration of the glass electrode right and if this concentration is changes this uh, will be detected in the pH of the cell with uh, this can be calculated using the equations that we have discussed previously right and the reference remains the same uh, the physical pharmacy by Alfred Martin and this was all about the conductometric determination of pH.